Hello guys and welcome back. So in the last section we implemented a navbar here as a part of a separate component and we have also implemented routing in here so we should be able to now add new links to this section and expect new components to get loaded when a particular route is activated. Now in the in the section that we have here uh, these are all the different types of uh, configurations that can be done to your navbar. You can use certain color schemes like so and uh, that was it regarding the navbar now i'm gonna go and have a look at the buttons so let's first quickly create a component for our buttons so that we are able to load them up and while this gets created let's also update the app module so when the buttons route is reached then i need to load up the buttons component like so and uh, inside the header component let's just quickly get rid of a few things that we don't really need so we have a drop down here and uh, i don't really need that drop down right now so i'll just comment this out and i also don't really need this search form here so i'll do the same for it now home pricing and all are there but i don't need these uh, right here so i'll just comment these out and for home i need to go to the let me just zoom out a little bit and for this one i need the router link to take me to home while if i'm on the buttons route then it should let's indent this a bit as well and if i'm on the buttons route if i click on the buttons uh now bar um link then i should be taken to the button section like so all right so uh we aren't on the current here so i should be able to get rid of this pan like so right let's save this now and go back so i should have home and buttons here uh it's showing both of them as active because i have active on for both of them that should not be the case um there is one more at one more directive from uh, angular router that we can use and that's router link active to which we specify the name of the class that should be applied when a particular route is activated or a particular link is active now in this case if i click on the button section the buttons uh, component would be loaded up so now i can essentially uh, start working on the buttons component so i'll close all of these and i'll go to the buttons components template i'll get rid of this and i'll just go to the buttons section that we have here and these are all the button types that angular uh, material design bootstrap provides us with so i'll just copy all the markup that we have here for the buttons and i'll go back here and paste it like so and if i go back to the application then i should see all the buttons um, getting highlighted over here and the buttons uh, navbar as well um, opening up apart from that there are some other uh, configurations that can be done to your button so these are all the additional buttons there are uh, let's just copy in these as well like so let's copy that and uh, go back and paste it like so i'll just name these additional buttons in an h3 tag and i'll paste it like that save go back to the application and these are all the additional buttons there are um, these were the basic buttons that we had initially so i'll inside an h3 tag type in 
basic buttons let's save apart from that we also have um, these gradient buttons right here but it comes as a part of the material design bootstraps pro component package uh, so we might have to um, pay for that but that's something that we are not going to do right now even if that is the case i should be able to use them but then it won't be uh, having the same styling as that of the buttons that we see here i'll add a gradient button section as well but if i paste these buttons here then i won't be able to see the same styling these would be the same um, default styles that were applied to them and apart from that i have these outline buttons as well that can be used so let's copy the markup for that as well h3 outline buttons let's paste and save and go back so we now see the outline buttons as well and then we have some other round buttons as well but these also come as a part of the material design bootstraps pro package same is the case with these and same is the case with these floating buttons as well so even if i copy the markup for these floating buttons i essentially won't be able to see them let's see that in action floating buttons let's paste the markup here save and go back and I, i'll just see the the icons for these but i won't really see the buttons in here okay so then we also have fixed buttons like this which gets active on click i'm not really sure why this is not working right now but this is something that gets active on hover uh, but again these come as a part of the pro package the back to top button is also there uh, and we can essentially use this documentation here to make that work then we have flat buttons like so but again that comes as a part of the pro package here we have buttons with icons so let's try that in action i'll go down here and add an h3 again buttons with icons and i'll paste the markup for the buttons with icons section here and i should see the buttons here with icons as well and uh, then we have buttons with tags and we have buttons with different sizes that can be used buttons with different levels and essentially a lot of things can be there that can be used it's all customizable but we won't really be able to use the uh, the buttons that come as a part of the pro package but apart from that there are quite a lot of uh, buttons there are uh, and different stylings that can be used and applied and then there are different states that can be uh, applied to a button and then we also have uh, buttons in the form of checkboxes and radio buttons that can be used and then the data structure of it which essentially can be used to um, make some changes uh, whenever the button is clicked and uh, some things of that sort so this was it regarding the material bootstrap buttons in the next section we are going to talk about cards so i'll see you guys in the next video